What is up guys, Dane again. This video is from a digital course that I was working on called Facebook Ad Mechanics. Instead of just trying to release it and trying to make you buy it, I am actually just going to give the content for you for free. Each lesson is going to have a short uh, lecture section where I just simply talk to you about what we're going to be accomplishing in explaining it. And then after that, we're going to be jumping to my computer and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So with that being said, go ahead and enjoy the lesson. You're going to be hearing from me talking about what we're about to do, and I hope this serves you. Welcome back, guys, to the next lesson. Now, in this course, we're going to be talking about really setting up the Facebook Pixel with Shopify. Now, it is true, on my YouTube channel, I do have a video about doing a simple Pixel installation on a Shopify store. However, on this one, we're really going to be going in-depth because there are a couple of apps that I use so I can use all the conversion events throughout the entire store and also, and also another app that really makes moving your Shopify catalog into Facebook and makes those dynamic retargeting ads and those shopping campaigns so much easier on Facebook. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now the nice thing is there are a couple of really inexpensive and free apps that we can use so we can go ahead and have the product stream. Now if you try to go into Facebook before into your ad account and set up a catalog and says you need a product URL stream and you're like I don't know what that is, well luckily this video will be explaining that all to you. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Alright guys, we're going to do some real heavy lifting when it comes to doing e-commerce. This is probably one of the biggest things a lot of people just shy away from doing or only or a lot of people believe only really big marketing firms can do but you know what anyone can do this what we're going to do is we're going to take this e-commerce store that i have this is actually my own and we're going to go ahead and take all the products that i have in it and add it to a catalog in business manager so let me show you how you would do that first things first you actually need a couple of apps as you can tell i have a lot of apps but the ones you want to focus on is Facebook product feed and also down here at pixel conversion pro now I am aware that you can just put in the uh, Facebook pixel code into Shopify and actually you can do that but for me personally I wanted to make sure my Facebook pixel was picking up all the right e events uh, this app I believe costs five dollars I think this one is either free or it's five dollars as well as you can tell that's really really inexpensive now what I'm going to be focusing on is mostly the product feed um, this app really makes it super easy to put in the Facebook code so honestly just install it and it'll walk you right through it this one does take a little bit of love okay so say when you click through it and I actually have it opened up right here and after you install it what you're gonna notice is you have this thing called your feed uh, this is your product feed from your store so what you need to do is you need to jump over here to catalogs to get there say if you're in your business manager you go to all tools and you go here to catalogs just want to make sure we're on the same page this is a catalog from a client that I uh, helped out with so let's go ahead and make one similar to it we start with create catalog and since we're e-commerce we'll click right here but check this out if you're in real estate if you have a car dealership right or even if you uh, do travel agencies you pretty much have something to work with click right here and go next you want to make sure you uh, select which business manager owns uh, the catalog and of course this is for my company and we're going to name the catalog so this is the type of products I sell so let's click through to here and just to let you know you actually can use um, say a type of collection if you'd like for me I'm just doing all products now it says it's created but we actually need to populate it so let's go ahead and get started on that first place we need to go to is add products now we can do it manually but that takes a long time and it is possible to do it by the Facebook pixel however this is a much smaller store so I'm gonna stick right here with data feed a couple things I recommend here I always recommend doing a set schedule so your so your uh, Facebook account is always getting the newest information from your store and see right here add a data feed URL well guess what it's this one right here so let's go ahead and pop that in let's see daily at 7 that looks good this looks good right here and we start the upload now during this time it could take a couple of hours it could take a couple of minutes it all really depends on how many products we're taking in from your Shopify store 
Now, as you can tell, we're all done. However, we're not quite done yet. So as we know, when it comes to the Facebook pixel, we can do a lot of retargeting. Well, let's make sure that we can retarget the right people with this collection. So you make sure that you connect an event source. And we're gonna go down here to the pixel that is associated with this e-commerce store, and we click save. And as you can tell, look, it's time to create an ad. And we're gonna be talking about this another lesson from now. Because first, I wanna take you a quick run through what we have here. So when we go to products, you can tell that these are the products from the store. And if you haven't noticed in the last couple of videos, we've been sort of working towards a goal, you know, setting up custom conversions, getting on Shopify with uh, having the right pixel, getting our products put in. That's because we're going to be doing dynamic retargeting ads, say for people that only get to check out and don't purchase. These are kind of all the tools to kind of form ourselves towards that end goal. So as you can tell, we have these all right here. Our, I mean, everything's actually working pretty great. In the next couple classes, we're going to be talking about conversion ads, catalog ads, and dynamic retargeting. So let's jump in and do the really cool stuff.